Hi guys, this is Basko Berry here and in this video I am going to show you how to set up Hadoop uh, on your Windows 7 machine. Okay, before going that I want you to check your uh, Java versions. Okay, um, probably it should be, uh, I will be expecting a 64 bit versions of your software to be, the Java versions to be. and here are some instructions have been put up so I be, I'm going to follow the same instructions and try to set up if it works well and good if not we'll figure out the issue okay so Java version is the same thing which I've uh, ran this so it's uh, in 64 bit server um, and moreover uh, whenever installing uh, in the last previous video also I told in uh, big data tech stack uh, installation software so I told you to uh, keep your folder names uh, without any space because uh, we need to add one more character uh, escape character if you are adding like uh, space in between them to avoid the unnecessary errors okay so first you need to download the Hadoop 2.7 from Apache uh, website and uh, extract into C software so I have uh, extended extracted here to C software Hadoop and set the Hadoop home in the environment variables and from this github you will get the related uh, dlls components everything present in them so i have downloaded and pasted it in the uh, bin folder from that website don't worry about the remaining dlls just paste it the entire dlls so i am going to uh, show you the from it so this is i am using a 2.7.1 versions dlls so you have uh, the DLL is already present for some of the things so I have just downloaded and pasted there and set it to that uh, and among this we need to update the some of the configure files in from that so I am going to update in so f what do we need to update there so we uh, I have generally mm, shared you the link the below link which I have shared you will be used to open the Hadoop uh, website uh, where you will be uh, editing them so I have already opened the website so this is a Hadoop uh, website to how to set up a single node server so what are the main files we need to uh, edit there if you see core site xml so go to the core site xml it's uh, below here Where is this? I'm not able to find it. Uh, just a second. I think let me search it. Yeah, I found it here. Okay. So in this site, what you do is you, uh, you just um, uh, replace these uh, configurations in your file. Go to Hadoop. Uh, and uh, it is see Hadoop. We have a uh, core site XML open in the note, notepad plus plus, and uh, it's already there. Again, I'm just pasting the same thing here. Okay, then one is uh, Hadoop is done. The what is the other, what was the other thing? It was HDFS site. So So where is that? So you can see the below. This is a just a HDFS site. So again, going to paste the same thing he from here. Because there's nothing much change in this also. And next we have uh, what do we say? M map site. So in that file again, uh, let me uh, open this. So we have Yan here. I'm just cross-checking this. That's it. I'm not going to do anything because 
in case if you have changed anything so this is what default settings are so that's why I'm testing the same thing here and once that is done then we have a uh, yarn site this is nothing but final one <coughs> sorry my uh, system is a bit hanged here so that's the reason it's a bit uh, slow so we already have configuration on the top so I'm going to remove this and keep this one so I'm going to close all these things okay so once this is done uh, we need to verify the Hadoop DLLs is found. So how do we do that? Okay, so once you have uh, set it up everything here uh, Go to the Hadoop uh, Go to the command prompt and type this command. We'll check what will happen Check native minus C. Okay, probably I need to go to the um, Hadoop uh, folder. Uh, Kim, we have it here. Hadoop, uh, let me check the command whether it is present. Okay, where we have uh, check native. Okay, let me uh, open the Hadoop command and type uh, Hadoop check native. Hmm, weird. It's saying Java Home is not set properly. Let me again cross check the Java Home. So I am just facing uh, some issues. Okay, let me uh, uh, okay. Let me start uh, Hadoop Home and then. Uh, Hadoop uh, okay uh, let me go with the sbin here we'll see uh, if I have any uh, let me start the DFS uh, server Sorry, it's saying that Java Home is incorrectly set. Okay, let me uh, again cross check this. Okay, not variables and uh, 
okay uh, let me pause this for a second so I'm getting the error saying that uh, Hadoop home is incorrectly set so what I did is I went to the um, Hadoop uh, home and etc in this where I've set the Hadoop uh, environment uh, open in a notepad plus plus and I have set it to the this path C software Java where my uh, uh, current uh, Java version is there uh, so uh, let me try it now so that uh, I get uh, any comment uh, hoping that error would have resolved it okay fine at least now I'm, I'm getting the different uh, um that issue has been resolved actually so i'm getting with other things which is uh, good to for the process uh once this is done let me uh, execute the name node uh, part for this so to go to run the name node let me go to the hadoop uh, environment itself there hadoop let me open a command prompt from this bin hope i have the name node here yeah I have here so what I'm going to do I'm going to open the command prompt from this fold from this path C software uh, in this folder okay from there I'm going to open I'm going to open the um, Hadoop name node format use of this script is okay this something Okay, throw some error, uh, some issues here. Okay, let me run the uh, Hadoop. Uh, these things. Let me start the DFS server. We are starting the name node and uh, root node here. So this is a data node and this is a name node. Uh, I'll go the, through the HDFS architectures uh, once this is these things are done in my later on videos to explain you what do you mean by data node, what do you mean by name node. And moreover, let me start uh, yarn command also. Okay, these things been executing it. Uh, 
so let me open a new command prompt and uh, see if everything is up mm. so Uh, I think I put the wrong command, so I made a directory here. Uh, if you see this, HDFS uh, DFS test berry, and I've created one directory. Let me put a mm, copy from some file there. HDFS DFS minus put. So I have the file here created one sample file. So let us put this thing here sample.txt so since it's a unix commands let me put in this way to where we are be putting this path it will be putting into the hdfs folder hdfs to your local directory which is nothing but local host uh, because if you see this name node it's active actually the local node is listening to these things uh, see it's listening to 9000 okay okay uh, let me uh, open this if we have a command here mm. we'll check how it behaves here I think there's some issue with that. I will get back to that later. Okay, first we'll co mm, copy this. okay okay I think there's a problem with this command let me run with okay now I got this okay, test. let me move to this okay at the files what we have in this so you can see this sample file okay let me see if this is the file or not uh, here we have crypto in the file that hello guys welcome to big data world okay let's see if this is the file or not which we placed here uh, to read that file we can have a cat command which can be done used here you can use the sample file itself name also so you can see this okay so we have set uh, local Hadoop HDFS is working well fine for us so you can follow these steps which I'll be uh, giving to you okay uh, Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe my YouTube channel for further big data videos.